here on the Duncan Duo Show. In our first segment, we talked about uh, real estate values and proximities to, uh, we mentioned Starbucks because an article prompted it, but also to other businesses and school districts. We're going to trend next to um, you know talking about home warranties. And, and if you don't know about home warranties, we hope to uh, provide a little bit more insight for you. But uh, so we have Laura Vetter with Home Warranty of America with us. And Laura, um, you know, a lot of people, I think, um, you know, get their education for home warranties from real estate agents that may not be the greatest people to explain all the intricacies of a home warranty. But what are maybe the top two or three reasons why uh, a home warranty is, is really valuable to a to home buyer? Well, I mean, first of all, you want to protect yourself against anything that might happen after closing, unexpected breakdowns, things like that. That's the main reason people get a home warranty. I mean, you know, a lot of times they're putting all of their money into their house, and they just don't have a lot of money. So a lot of times, just like you all, you negotiate it into the contract. It's something that you provide as a value for, for you know, with your services. You negotiate that, and then they get that kind of quote for free, but it helps them down the road because they might not have a whole lot of extra money. Yeah, and I think that sometimes people stretch their budget, they may not have the amount of reserves, or they do at the time of purchase, but two or three years down the line, they get into a tough spot where they don't have as much now. You know, I have a family member right now who had, uh, who hit a little rough patch and had an AC failure. Yeah. Um, and Big it's money. a it's a terminal one, and they should have bought a home warranty. Yeah. Um, and, and I think they actually might have bought one for the first year, but you know, it's three years online, they didn't renew it, you know, so now they're, they're in the tough patch where they don't have the money to fix their AC. Um, so, you know, it's, it's interesting that I think people don't prepare for that. So, you know, it's not necessarily for someone who, um, you know, who, who can, you know, like, like an example, um, you know, a general contractor who has access to labor and who can fix things himself. Maybe the home warranty maybe isn't isn't right for him, or if it's somebody who, um, you know, has plenty of money, even though it would still make sense for assurance reasons. But but there, it's certainly a, a no brainer product for me for a first time home buyer that's not prepared for maintenance, that's not prepared for the costs, that oftentimes underestimates what things cost. Uh, labor today is a lot more expensive, I think, than people realize. And Absolutely. you guys take care of those issues when they pop up. Yeah, and sometimes you don't see behind the walls. So at a home inspection, you may not know if everything's working properly, everything's fine, uh, but there might be something with plumbing, it's all stopped up. You know, we bought a foreclosure and every single bathroom within the first three months all clogged up and plumbing's something that's covered. Yeah, and, and, and again, you're right. You know, the, the other place where I think it becomes really, really important is if you bought a fixer-upper. And you'll have people say, oh, well, I bought a fixer-upper. I don't need a warranty because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix everything in the house. Well, um, you might not quite get to fixing everything in the house. I right. doubt you're replacing every plumbing pipe and every electrical outlet. And, you know, you're going to upgrade the kitchen and you're going to upgrade the baths, but that doesn't mean everything in the house needs to be uh, that, that, that you're going to address everything. Uh, you know, if someone didn't take great care of the house before you bought it, it's likely there's stuff you can't see. Yeah, I mean, we replaced our entire kitchen. We bought the house without kitchens or bathrooms, so everything was fairly new. So a lot of times in that sense, they have their own warranties on them for a year yep. or whatever. So you technically don't have to have something, but again, we used our full cap of the plumbing because we didn't see behind the walls, and of yeah. course I worked for home warranty. Yeah, so, so you, you yeah. do not handle it. Yeah. So, so Kevin, obviously working with some first-time home buyers, um, you know, they're going to have those, those questions and, and concerns about, well, I don't necessarily know if I want to spend the extra money. And a home warranty, I think, you know, like, like Laura said, adds that extra, you know, insurance, so to speak, or assurance, similar to homeowner's assurance, you know, similar to all these things. But, but I think first-time home buyers sometimes, um, you know, they go into the home buying process with, um, you know, a plan or a perception that oftentimes isn't really what, what is out there. You know, the, a perception of the market, perception about the house, because they're not experienced. Mm -hmm. And and so, what is your take on you know the inexperience of first-time home buyers? How important some of those things are, and the education process of that. Well, a lot of first-time home buyers don't know what they don't know. So, as right. a buyer specialist, it's my job to kind of alert them to things like, you know, they may not be thinking about anything past closing date. They may just be worried about their inspections, appraisals, just getting through that process. So, it's my job to be like, hey, you know, 
you know, it's great to get to the closing table and have everything goes smoothly, but a week in, you know, a week into you owning your house, you know, you don't want your water heater to break. It's important to consider things like getting a home warranty for that, you know, you can't put a price on peace of mind. So, yeah, you know. and, and I think it's right. They don't have vision because they haven't gone through the process before. They haven't, you know, like I, I remember when I was a kid and the stuff would break in my parents' house, but you didn't really share the stress with them. You didn't know the cost. You didn't know all the, inter, you know, the intricacies or the complications. So sometimes it takes you going through the process a couple times before you realize, you know what, I remember that first house I bought, and I remember when the water heater crashed or the AC broke, and I remember what I had to do to make it work until I could pay for it. And that's where, you know, the, the home warranty comes into in play. So Home Warranty of America's website, hwahomewarranty.com, I believe is yep. uh, is it. So hwahomewarranty.com. They're our recommended home warranty provider. You can find out all their brochures, their information, um, and, and get Laura's contact information on our website. But if you want to go direct to the source and learn about home warranties, uh, again, that is hwahomewarranty.com. And a couple of selling points on Home Warranty of America, 13 months instead of 12 uh, they got a great track record with claims. So if you've had a bad experience with a home warranty company, they're not all created the same. Just like I would tell you if you had a bad experience with a real estate agent, there's a million other of them in Florida, pretty much like literally probably a million. There's gobs and gobs more of them in Florida just because you had a bad experience with one doesn't mean that they're all the same. So we'll be back uh, continuing our conversation about the Tampa Bay real estate market after a quick break here on the Duncan Duo Show.